Okay then. Let's go ahead and start up with mission three. Blazin' Fizzard. Flizzard. So it was Flazin' Bl Blizzard. I guess. So if you spoonerism his name, it becomes a nice tie. Yeah. Okay, that's weird. Kinda. Zero, be careful. Now, despite what it's saying about recon, we're just going through and killing stuff anyway, so. Yay! That's a missile in the background, by the way. Kill you. Volcano. Wow. That's a volcano. Kill you. You see that door there? Yeah. Okay, when you enter those doors, you enter, um, the cyber world, where everything is a little bit easier and any cyber elves that you've gotten um like it doesn't matter if you've fed them or anything like that but any cyber elves you have gotten will automatically activate it won't kill them but you'll have all their powers and those instant death spikes up there aren't just regular death spikes they're drill death spikes giga drill death spikes I'm afraid even zero couldn't survive that and now we play The Floor's Lava. The board game. I wonder why they're doing that, by the way. Doing what? That right there. Just dropping, just dropping random metal things. Probably melting it. Push that out of the way. How do they plan on getting it, then? Better or disposing of it? Yeah. If you hit those flame shield thingy guys, um, while their back's turned with the recoil rod, it makes it to where they turn around. So, you can kill them. And, it gives you and now we get to fight a mini boss, hooray! Er, well... Time limit? Not really, it's just how long you have to last. There is a finite amount of these, and they'll just like, it goes in an order, I guess, and you keep killing them, and if you kill all of them, then the timer stops, but it doesn't matter. So, I don't know. Do you, get ex do you get an extra score if you kill all of them? Mm, not to my knowledge. Well, Move gay. out of the way, Beyblade. Move out of the way. No, Dragoon, you cannot be summoned here. Oh my god, I just made a Beyblade reference, didn't I? Yeah, you did. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I'll be going to go shoot myself later. Yes, we need you alive right now. Let's play The Floor's Lava, the board game based on the novel, based on the movie. Based on the dramatitai... Dra yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Another lamp guy. Based on the radio series, that's what I was going to say. Okay, radio series, that works. Um, boss. Since there's all this fire around, it's easy to see that this guy's a fire-based one. Oh, really? And the fact that he's red on the screen at the start of the level? Look at Pseudo Wudo. it looks like a tree and it's a rock type. Wait, what? By the way, this guy just said that we might be a minor challenge. Oh lord. Time to die! We'd, we'd like to challenge miners, like as in the people who work in mines. Not small people. Young people, you mean. Small people. Small people are midgets. Dwarves! We are sorry for offending any of you out there. Not really. We we could really care less, but hey, what what can we do? Blizzard used explosion. Wait, what? Discs. We got the flame body chip. And the burst shot. Burst shot. Yay, she's not on the platform. Oh, it's worked too soon. You just don't like it when she's on the platform when it's working. 
Yeah, I know. You know, the platform looks even more like a laser cannon now than it did in 2. Let me guess, in 4 it becomes a laser cannon when you step on it and try to teleport it just annihilates you? No. Okay. Maybe I'm thinking too far ahead. Yeah. Buster shot, turns, makes fireworks! Fireworks? Only with the flame chip activated? Yeah. The Buster, um, PX skills only work whenever you have the corresponding element chip equipped. With the exception of the neutral one, which you can't have any of them equipped. Ew. I see. And fixing it up back for the next level. Yep. Where we Join take on, where we take on Mantisk.